from Hollywood, it's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Toe. And now, here's our host, Wink Martindale. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome. again to give away some money give the bosses money away just playing santa claus here and here's a lady we've given a lot of it to right here our current champion whose winnings and cash and prizes total fourteen thousand two hundred dollars is a wife mother and teacher whose interest includes sports and the piano meet lena kane and her opponent is a housewife and former travel agent whose interests include computers and making stained glass meet gail walker Yeah, Gail. Bruiser. How's Bruiser? Bruiser's good. Very good. Tell everybody who Bruiser is. The Bruiser's my one-and-a-half-year-old beautiful son who's big enough to take on his mommy. And he is uh, a kind of a, a child who gives you problems from time to time? No, he's wonderful. 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 Blue eyes and A perfect hair. child. Of course. We have been searching all these many years for the perfect child. Perfect. She has him. Where, where is home for Bruiser? Canoga Park. Canoga, Canoga Park. Park. Mm-hmm. And you have any other children? Just no, one? just Bruiser. We, we waited 12 years, 10 years for him. What's his real name? Paul Dinsdale. Paul Dinsdale, better known as Bruiser. Hey, good to see you. you. Welcome back, Gail. We'll get, I promise we'll get a game started shortly. Hello, Lena. Hi, Wink. Lena Kane is our wife, mama, and teacher who has won thus far in cash and prizes $14,200. You all look so colorful today. Yeah, it's very pretty, too. You look very nice. Welcome back. Thank you. You feel lucky? Yes, I You're do. You're going to continue your, uh, your winning ways against I, this lovely I'm lady I'm planning here? to. Okay, let's see how Lena does against the lady from Canoga Park. Good luck to you both. Here we go. <laughs> Lena and Gail playing a little tic-tac-go on this very nice evening. Let's take a look at the board. First of all, we need subjects. And just like that, voila. Scary things, grand question, female singers, poetry, numbers, maps of nations, Wild West, challenge category, and plain talk. That's P-L-A-N-E talk. Now, Lena, remember it's a critical game at stake for you versus Gail, because if you beat Gail, you'll win a brand new car. Let's begin. Okay, I, I'll take female singers, please. She likes the subject female singers. And this is your first question, Lena. Before this singer joined her famous father to record the number one record, Something Stupid, she had a hit on her own called These Boots Are Made For Walking." Name her. Audience. Nancy. Nancy Sinatra, yeah. These boots are made for walking. And then with Frank, her father, she had a duet hit, big hit, called Something Stupid. Let's move the categories around. And Gail, it's your turn. Numbers in the center, please, Wink. All right, two-parter on numbers. I'll describe two films with numbers in the titles, and you give me the numbers. One, this 1955 film was based on a novel by George Orwell. It told of a man trapped in a totalitarian state controlled by a character known as Big Brother. Two, this Stanley Kubrick film, subtitled A Space Odyssey, has a cast which included a sinister computer named Hal. I'm going to give you a few seconds to think about both of those. <coughs> Film made in 1955, written by George Orwell, based on a novel by George Orwell, about a man trapped in a totalitarian state controlled by a character known as Big Brother. What was the movie? 1984. Right. How about the uh, cast which included a sinister computer named Hal? A cast from what movie? 2001. Correct. 2001, A Space Odyssey. Very well done. Gail, on numbers, we place an O. We move them around. $300 in the pot. Lena? Okay, numbers, please. All right, again on the subject of numbers. Here's your question. John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd starred in this funny 1979 comedy film, which told of war panic in California following the attack on Pearl Harbor. Give me that film's numerical title. 1941. You have an X on the board in numbers. Good, Lena. Let's shuffle again. <laughs> Gail. Gail Walker. Let's see here. Sorry. Uh, numbers, please. Numbers again. Everybody likes numbers. Gail, Mike Wallace, Morley Safer, Harry Reasoner, and Dan Rather have all shared hosting duties of this popular TV news magazine, which has a number in its title. Give me that show's complete title. I'm sorry, Wink. Who were the, who were the personalities? Mike Wallace, Morley Safer, Harry Reasoner, and Dan Rather. Uh, 60 Minutes. Right. 
The show is 60 minutes. Numbers, we place an O there. $700 pot will be back in just a moment. As a result of Lena missing a question, Gail is ahead. Two zeros to one X. Two O's to one X. All right, let's move the categories around. $700 in the pot. Lena, let's get going again. I'm going to take poetry to block, please. For a diagonal block of Gail, Lena, this type of 14-line poem has a fixed pattern of meter and rhyme. It's been used by famous poets like Shakespeare and Keats and takes its name from the Italian for little song. For a block, name it. Sonnet. It is a sonnet. You're correct. Poetry, sonnet. Block. <laughs> Shovel. Gail. Dear. Um, sorry. Plain talk, please, in the bottom. Okay, plain talk. Gail, here is your question. Washington, D.C. is served by two international airports. One of them is located in Virginia, some 25 miles from the city, and is named for a Secretary of State who served in the Eisenhower administration. Name this airport. Dulles. Right, Dulles International Airport. Name for John Foster Dulles. So we put a O in plain talk, and we shuffle with four boxes left. $1,100 in the pot. Lena? I'm going to take poetry again to win. If you answer this question correctly, Lena, you will have a vertical tic-tac-doe. You'll add $1,300 to your total. You would also win a brand new automobile, and that would bring your total winnings to $21,300. This is the question on poetry for all of that. Such familiar poems as Coming Through the Rye and Old Lang Syne have resulted in poet Robert Burns being named a national poet of his native country. For tic-tac-toe, a car, a total of $21,300, name Burns' native land. Scotland. You got it. <laughs> Lena Kane, I'm telling you, you lost, I think, your first question in that round, in that game. You came back to win the game because Gail, I read your lips a minute ago, Gail, and you said, I can't believe I did that. Oh, no. As the music was playing and Lena was happy about winning that automobile. Ah. How you feel now, Lena? Oh, wonderful. A new car, a lot of money. And by the way, here are the details on the car. Charlie? Lena, for your driving pleasure from Shanwa Chevrolet, it's the brand new Chevy Chevette two-door coupe. Compliments of Tic Tac Go. So, Lena Kane, you might have backed into that win, but you're still the champion. You're still the winner with a total of $21,300. Congratulations to you. She's going to be driving home tonight. Well, to Gail Walker. Gail, I know you didn't see it, and it happens so often. No matter how long you play this game, no matter how long I stand here and MC the games of tic-tac-toe, it happens time and time again. You just didn't see that, did you? I just wasn't thinking. Absolutely wasn't thinking. We have a couple of very nice parting gifts for you, and our thanks to uh, you for playing the game. Gail Walker. Okay, Lena, let's us play the dragon. Come on over here. Okay, listen, no matter how you win, you won. Behind these numbers, various amounts of money. We have a tick, we have a tack, and of course the dragon. The idea. You know what the idea is. Get $1,000 or get tick or tack. Charlie, what does she win if she does it? Well, Lena, if you have a sharp eye, you'll enjoy taking aim with these gifts. First, Lena, aim your lens at the stars as you gaze through a powerful telescope. From service merchandise where famous brand name items are always priced right. Select from our 500-page catalog or shop in person at any one of our convenient showrooms from service merchandise. Then for wonderful pictures, take aim with this precision-made camera. The Agfa Compact 35mm motorized camera with snap-on flash plus a year supply of Agfa chrome film with processing from Agfa Gavert, preferred by those who know. Next, aim for your opponent's court as you play with this top-of-the-line tennis equipment. His and hers Wimbledon tennis rackets, dynamically weighted for more power, greater head speed, and better control from Wimbledon tennis rackets. And finally, Lena, aim for a hole-in-one when you have this prize worth more than $1,000, this deluxe set of golf clubs. From Pinsaker, a set of custom-made golf clubs, including a bombshell, stainless steel woods with matching irons, and a professional staff bag from Pinsaker. This take-aim package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,100. <laughs> I don't know whether you play golf or not, but maybe you can use it. I don't, but I'll learn. All right. And tennis? How about tennis? 
I play a little bit of tennis. Okay, too. let's cover these up and move them all around now. We want nine numbers up here, and uh, you haven't had much luck versus a dragon. But with a new car and as a continuing champion, maybe your luck's going to change. Uh, what do you like? Uh, seven. Number seven, as you look for $1,000 or more, get chicken tack. What do we have? 500 you're halfway there. Five sound. Number five sound good, all right. Five in the center, 500 plus 150. You need 350 more. Camera, they sound like they want four, and I'll go with four. All right. You like four? We're going to give you four. Maybe it'll give her a win. Not quite. You need tack or tick and 350 Okay. Three. Number three. For $350 or tick, do we have it up there? 250 $100 short. $100 short. You need 100 or 10. One, two, six, eight, or nine. What's it going to be? One. Number one. She needs $100, so she takes one, and she has it. <laughs> Not so easy, but you made it look good that time. Two, six, eight, or nine. The dragon was to be found behind number two this particular instance. Well, you're really doing it now. You got a roll going. You're really red hot here at our game. You have a total now in cash and prizes, Lena, of $24,400. You have a new car, and we're going to come back in just a moment. Don't you go away. Either. Meet Vera, Britain's most diabolical dinner lady. Her chocolate sauce is a legend in its own laundry. Too diabolical for her liquid, she thinks. So testing aerial liquid seems like a waste of time. But Vera doesn't know it's double biological. Unlike hers, which only has one cleaning action, aerial liquid has two. So while she gets leftovers with her liquid, aerial polishes off the lot. A first for Vera's chocolate sauce, aerial liquid. Double biological. Cleans a wash that's diabolical. With some packaging, there's not a lot to throw away. It's the same with this Lenore refill. So don't bin your empty bottle. Fill it with this and water. So there's less waste in the environment. And also less cost to you. Fill the bottle, not the bin. Lena, you're going to be doing a lot of work on your sports game. You, are, so you play racquetball already. Yes. You've got to learn how to play golf with the new <laughs> golf clubs. Tennis rackets, you've got to learn to become more proficient at your tennis game. So you're going to be busy. I am. A busy mama. Okay, who do we have, Charlie, to take her on? Link, he's a teacher and a coach, and his interests include fishing and the beach. Meet John Burt. <laughs> She's pretty good at this, isn't she, John? She sure is, Wink. I bet you are too. Tell us about your teaching, John. Well, I'm a teacher at Long Beach Poly High School. I teach social studies, primarily U.S. history and government, and I also coach the aquatics teams. You coach aquatics, huh? How are the teams doing this year? Teams are doing pretty well. We're currently in about third place now in our league, and we're hoping to do a little better in the future. It's time to sink or swim right here, John, by the way. That's about by it. Way, John, uh, this has nothing to do with what you do uh, at school. Do you happen to teach tennis, though, or golf? You uh, see, Lena just won a whole lot of rackets and, and golf clubs. She doesn't know what to do with them. Well, incidentally, I am teaching a, a PE class, which has tennis in it, so I might right, be able to get her Y'all get together and talk about that later. Right now, let's us talk about some subjects. Lena, John, take a look. We're going to build some questions around subjects like places and songs, double or nothing, names the same, mixed words, sitcoms, chemistry, funny men, seesaw, and famous movies. Lena? I'm going to go with famous movies, please. Famous movies is always a popular category on our show. In the classic 1943 film, Casablanca, Humphrey Bogart plays a nightclub owner named Rick, whose life is complicated by the return of a long-lost love. Name the actress who plays Bogart's old flame. Ingrid Bergman. Yes, the great late Ingrid Bergman. Famous movies, Casablanca. John Burke, our teacher and our coach. Wink, I'll take places and songs in the center. All right. And here's your two-part question. In 1971, John, this popular singer had a hit song entitled Take Me Home, Country Roads. In the lyrics of the song, he mentions a state 
in which he belongs. I want you to name the singer and then name the state in which he belongs. And I'll give you a few seconds to think about that. Take me home, country roads. John, who was the singer who popularized that? John Denver. Yeah. What state did he belong in? West Virginia. Right. Take me home, country roads. West Virginia. <laughs> Lena. Okay, I'm going to go with famous movies again, please. Again, famous movies. Lena, in this 1978 classic comedy, Warren Beatty plays a football quarterback who's taken too early by an overeager angel and returns to life in another man's body. Name this film. Heaven Can Wait. That is correct. That was an oldie redone. Heaven Can Wait. Let's stop it. John. Wink, I'll take... Uh... Places and songs again in the upper... All right, again, right. places and songs. This is the question, John. In a 1956 hit, singer Fats Domino claimed to have found his thrill. Now, according to the song's title, on what hill did he find his thrill? On Strawberry Hill, Wink. Oh, John, Blueberry Hill. Strawberry Hill hasn't been written yet. Let's move the categories around. $700 in the pot. <laughs> Lena, it is your turn. Uh, famous movies again, please. She likes the subject, famous movies. This famous film director has directed many classic suspense thrillers, including The Birds and North by Northwest. Name him. Alfred Hitchcock. Right, Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> famous movies, place an X there. Let's shuffle again. John. I'll have to take names the same to block, Wink. For a horizontal block across the bottom of the board, John, answer this. A country singer named Roger shares his last name with a famous band leader and trombone player named Glenn. For a block, name their shared last name. Miller. Yes, Roger Miller and Glenn Miller. You have a block. Four boxes left. Let's shuffle again. <laughs> Lena, playing for $1,100 okay, plus. Okay, double nothing for a win, please. Double or nothing, all right. Lena, the subject of this double or nothing question is vocabulary, vocabulary. This word, which describes a set of rules for proper social behavior, is derived from the French word for ticket. Name it. Etiquette. Etiquette is correct. Now, <laughs> Lena, that's correct, but to earn the box, you must select another box. Answer that question correctly, and you get both boxes. Miss it, and of course, the game continues. Funny men, please. Which one? Funny men. Funny men, top center, all right. Lena, for tic-tac-toe, answer this. After 11 seasons of trying to get out of the Army on the TV series MASH, Corporal Maxwell Klinger finally got his wish and became a civilian on the series after MASH. For tic-tac-toe and $1,500 for a total of $25,900, name the funny man who played Klinger on both shows. Jamie Farr. You win. <laughs> Lena, that's why we call it double or nothing. The first answer only got you to the next category, which you picked top center. And of course, when you answer that correctly, that gave you the vertical tic-tac-toe. And you have a total now of $25,900. And I don't see any signs of her stopping either. Lena, congratulations to you. John Burt, I found my thrill on what? I think Blueberry. Blueberry Hill, right. You're not going to forget. The, every time you hear that on the radio, now tic-tac, no, for some reason. John, if somebody in the audience wants to sing it for us, we don't have time. John, we have a couple of nice parting gifts and our thanks for being with us on the show. Lena, $25,900 later, and here you are. And you told me uh, privately, and I think I can share this with our audience, that the first time you appeared on the show, the first uh, day you were on, you had $1 in your pocket. Huh? Is that That's true? it. That's all I had in my wallet. <laughs> now you have $25,900. You've won several trips. What's, what's the most important item to you that you've won, uh, be it cash or a trip or the automobile, perhaps? Uh, I think the trip to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Mm -hmm. Now you are from the Philippines, right. correct? Yeah. Born and born raised in Manila. Born in Manila, but in Manila. was brought up in California, so I really haven't been to Asia since I yeah. was born. How long have you been in California? I'm not going to ask you how old you are. Just tell well, me how that's long you've been a, you know how old I was if I told you. <laughs> well, listen, Lena, we, we won't take that any <laughs> okay. further. Just congratulations to Thank you. you. We're very pleased for you. And, of course, we don't have time to play the dragon uh, in this particular show, but we'll do that first thing next show, okay? okay. 
You will be here. I'll be here. We haven't given her her check yet. She will be back. <laughs> I'll be back. Lena, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Wink Martindale for Tic Tac Doe. God bless. See you next time. Bye-bye. Tic Tac Doe is a Jack Barry and Dan and Wright production. Tacto is a Jack Barry and Dan and Wright production.